All right, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of ASA, the series where I answer your questions. We got a good bit of questions to answer today, so let's get started straight off the bat with Jed Bricks. I believe I'm pronouncing your name right. And he says, ASA, what would you like for Christmas? Hmm, that's a really good question. I guess you're my Santa Claus this year, so no matter what I ask for, you had to give it to me, right? So I want the UCS ATAT. -AT. Give it to me now. It seems a little lame because I'm an adult and everything, but I'm asking for some battle packs for Christmas. It's if I get those, that would be pretty dope. Next question is from EK Starlord, and he says, Out of the two shows, which are you more excited for? Before Kenobi or Ahsoka? I don't know what the before part means. I'm gonna go with Obi-Wan Kenobi. I'm a lot more excited for that. Like, the Ahsoka show sounds interesting, and especially if they end up introducing, like, Thrawn and stuff. And I think it was rumored that, or actually confirmed, that someone is going to play a live-action Sabine. So that's gonna be really cool. So it's gonna be, like, them going out to find Ezra. Spoiler alert if you haven't watched Rebels. Ezra got launched into space with Thrawn and now they're having a tea party somewhere out in space. Um, so it'd be really cool to see like what happens next. Plus it'd be cool to see a live action Ezra, let's be real here. Because by the end of Rebels, Ezra was actually a cool character. So I'm really excited for Obi-Wan though, even though I'm talking about the Ahsoka show, just because Obi-Wan is like my favorite Star Wars character on the light side, I guess. Like Obi-Wan is just so cool. Like who doesn't love Obi-Wan? Plus apparently Darth Vader is gonna be in it and you know Darth Vader's Darth Vader he's so cool it's just gonna be exciting but honestly I think both are gonna be equally as good next question is from Ace Gamer Studios and he says ASA do you think we'll get a 20th anniversary sets for Attack of the Clones and if so what do you want to see hmm that's a really tough one honestly I'm going to speculate and say no I probably shouldn't because like I shouldn't predict bad things right because then it seems to happen no not really I don't think so just because Lego doesn't really see to care about prequel sets. I know everybody says that and I hate to be kind of negative too, but it does seem to be true. They prioritize on original trilogy sets. However, we are getting that minifig pack with phase one clones that are supposed to be on Geonosis. In fact, it even comes with one from the gunship, the UCS one. So that being said, maybe we'll get some phase two, not phase two, phase one clones and other sets. If I could pick, I think it'd be really cool to get a new gunship just because we haven't had a new gunship besides the UCS one in forever. When I say gunship, I mean playset, kind of like the one on screen right now. And it would also be cool to get like a homing spider droid just because I don't own any and it would be cool to get a new one so that way I don't have to spend like $800 on one of the old ones. It's not really that much. It's probably more like 100 So that'd be kind of cool. Next question is from the Lego Man and he says, ASA, what is your favorite day of the week? Wednesdays, because that's when ASA has come out. Honestly, I don't really have a favorite day of the week. I just live every single day. I like every single day of the week. I don't actually have any day where I like more than others. I mean, okay, that's a lie. Maybe Fridays are better than Mondays, but I don't like hate Mondays or anything like that. I don't really know how to answer this question. I just like every day. So next question is from Liam and he says, ASA, who is your favorite version of Spider-Man? I'm going to go with Tom Holland just because personally, I think he's the best. I don't really have anything against the other two Spider-Mans. Spider-Mans, is that correct? But I just think Tom Holland does the best job and because he just looks like a 17 year old because like he's not really 17, I believe. I believe he's actually like 22 or something like that but he looks and acts like a actual teenager so it just works you know i really like tom holland spider-man and so i'm excited for no way home because that movie's going to mostly be about tom holland next question is from sinker films and he says asa what is your opinion about vr <laughs> Honestly, I have never used it, but if I had to guess, if I did, I would probably barf. I don't usually get motion sickness, but from what I've heard, VR is just kind of sickening. And so, yeah, but I've never used it, so I don't know. And I honestly don't plan on using it anytime soon. So don't really have an opinion, sorry. And our very last question is from Doff Dan, and he says, ASA, do you like my videos? No offense, but I've actually only watched maybe like five of your videos, so I don't have much of a little bit of much of an opinion on them but from what i've seen they're good so yeah and i would suggest just keep doing it if you're having fun and over time you'll probably like if you're asking because like you don't like your videos over time you'll start to like them if you just keep doing it you know you just got to keep chipping at it right anybody here watching go subscribe to darth dan i'll leave a link in the cards on the top of the screen to his channel go check it out subscribe to him he's been very supportive over my channel so i'm going to support his so that's going to do it for today's episode of asa thank you all for watching i appreciate each and every one of you taking the time to watch and of course comment a question down below make sure you comment a question for the next episode and leave a like if you enjoyed have a wonderful day and i'll see you guys next time